Point Pleasant, 1967. A bridge suddenly collapses into the Ohio River. According to many locals, it is a tragic final link in a chain of supernatural events haunting the small town for more than a year. Soon, three bizarre theories emerge to explain the disaster. An ancient Native American curse, UFOs, and a terrifying apparition resembling a giant moth. It all begins on November 15, 1966, when a teenager named Linda Scarberry reports seeing an unlikely apparition at an abandoned factory on the edge of town. She and three others tell a far-fetched story about coming face to face with a creature that has the body of a man, but is over seven feet tall with bat-like wings and piercing hypnotic red eyes. My name is Linda Scarberry, and I, I saw it in 1966. What happened? You know, it was about 11.30 one night. You would come up this road, and the lights sh uh, shined over. It was standing there in front of the powerhouse. Can you describe what it looked like? Well, it looked like a man, body of a man, and had the big wings that would come up over the head and down and around, and the wings struck the ground. Now, was this your only um, encounter with the Mothman? Oh, no. We saw it dozens of times. Always in this immediate area? No, we seen it downtown. And we was at our apartment one day, and it was sitting out there on the roof. Didn't it uh, just give you nightmares to see oh, this thing? Oh, yeah. At first, I was really afraid of it. But it had so many chances, you know, to hurt us. And it didn't. It didn't seem like it wanted to. Its eyes would kind of hypnotize you like that. It acted like it was trying to communicate with it through its eyes. How did the town feel when you first told everybody about this? They thought we was crazy. <laughs> oh, were there, all, there must have been a lot of people that were considered crazy in town at that there time was. then, because there were <laughs> yeah. numerous sightings, right? But it could, you couldn't all be crazy, could you? Well, that's what I thought. Linda is not alone. By early 1967, more than 100 other witnesses claim they've seen the apparition, too. Soon the press is in on the action and they dub the creature Mothman after Batman comic strip villain Killer Moth. And Mothman isn't the only unnatural occurrence in West Virginia in 1967. Last night a strange and eerie thing happened. A white gleaming object came out of the heavens. People also begin reporting woods. mysterious unearthly lights in the night skies that they interpret to be UFOs. Where did it go up there? It went right in the treetop. I mean, it was going real fast. It was huge. It was this big orange glowing light, you know. So we stopped the car and the thing came over top of the car. We got all kinds of static on the radio and the car quit. Soon, Point Pleasant becomes a paranormal hotspot, drawing the national media spotlight. With the UFO and Mothman craze escalating, the hunt for Mothman intensifies. Point Pleasant native Denny Bellamy offers to take us on our own hunt for Mothman. Hi, Denny. Hello. Hi. At a camouflaged underground munitions storage vault that was thought to be his lair. Why is this believed to be where he lived? This is the area where all the sardines was at. Where? I don't see it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to need these flashlights. Uh, what do you think's in there? Well, uh, I don't know if there's a Mothman. Oh, you go first, then. So. <laughs> Watch your hands. Oh, yeah. Man, if I was a moth man, this is where I'd live. It looks like a cocoon. So you remember the original moth man mania, the oh, hysteria yeah. that oh, surrounded yeah. the whole case? My parents brought me out to look for the moth man. Like, <laughs> everyone was out here looking for the moth man at the time. By late 1967, Mothman hysteria has reached a fever pitch. People think they're seeing it everywhere, and many suspect their town is cursed. A local farmer even thinks he's shot it. But it turns out the unlucky creature he's gunned down is a rare giant snow owl. Then, on December 15, 1967, exactly 13 months to the day since Mothman first appears, tragedy strikes the little town. The bridge connecting Point Pleasant to Ohio collapses into the Ohio River at the height of rush hour. 
46 people die. Now, many are sure their town has been cursed. The town is devastated. Nearly everybody here in Point Pleasant loses somebody they love on the bridge that night. The date of the collapse has the town people spooked because it's 13 months to the day since the first appearance of the Mothman. And Mothman emerges as an unusual suspect. The question is, what brought the bridge down? Was it an engineering flaw, or could Mothman or the UFOs have been involved? We've come to Point Pleasant's annual Mothman Festival to see if we can get some answers. For years now, people have been wondering just what Mothman is, where he came from, and what he was doing here in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. We're going to explore some of the more unusual theories about just what happened back here in the 1960s. Like the idea that Mothman and some of the unexplained events that happened just after his appearance here might actually be connected to an ancient Native American curse. West Virginia, 1777. The American Revolutionary War is raging, and the British ask the Native American tribes of the Ohio Valley to join the fight against the American rebels. The tribes are ready to jump into the fray, but one man resists, Chief Cornstalk, a respected Shawnee leader and warrior. He comes to the American settlers to negotiate peace. But while he's there, a colonist is killed by Native Americans while hunting. Tempers flare and the peacemaker is murdered in blind revenge. Legend has it he curses the land with his dying breath. May the curse of the Great Spirit rest upon this land. So is Mothman related to the Cornstalk curse? Hopefully the enthusiast at the festival can help us connect the dots. First up, Tom Harder from Pennsylvania. Uh, but you've heard of Cornstalk. Now that's uh, in connection with this whole Mothman thing, right? That's one of the theories when Cornstalk went somewhere murdered. They, he put a curse on the town and the area that would be blighted for 200 years, and Mothman seemed to fall right into that time frame. It's been speculated the Cornstalk curse opened up a paranormal doorway. Some of the theories about that get really far out. I mean, they start talking about, like, the... The, the Mothman coming through like a portal or a doorway from another dimension. Have you heard about that sort of thing? Yeah, for well, all the theories might be an avatar, a spear, even an extraterrestrial. I think nowadays most of the common perception is that it actually is terrestrial and not an alien being. I, I really think that they saw something, and but I think it was more probably interdimensional. So it kind of slipped in between the reality factor, right? right? right. You had the UFOs, the Mothman sightings, and then you had the collapse of Silver Bridge, and so people thought all that stuff was all related. River Museum Administrator Ruth Fout offers a more rational explanation. Ruth, what happened on that fateful day? On December the 15th, 1967, at about two minutes till five in the evening, the bridge just suddenly began to shake. It was just a matter of a few minutes, actually seconds, that the bridge collapsed. So all this traffic that we see here went into the water? Went into the water. So how long after this tragedy did people start to associate the Mothman or the curse with the collapse of this bridge? There are a lot of people who believe that that is a connection. And since the Mothman was never seen in Point Pleasant after that, some people want to think he was uh, an omen of something bad to come. What would cause a bridge like this to collapse? This pin that you see right here is the one that actually broke and caused the bridge to collapse. A two-year scientific investigation shows the high-strength steel link had a small flaw at manufacture, an invisible hairline crack. It simply gave out after 40 years. Several major bridges collapse across the nation in the first part of the 20th century, but the Silver Bridge disaster is the last straw. It prompts a federal bridge inspection program to avoid future tragedies. So they, they concluded that it was just wear, there was never any speculation of sabotage or anything like that? No, they did not find any reason to believe that. Well, it seems the appearance of Mothman didn't physically make the Silver Bridge collapse. But did the curse of Chief Cornstalk play a role in weakening the structure of the bridge? That question may never be answered.
One thing this trip has proven, Mothman has become a real cult hero. His legend even became a best-selling book and Hollywood movie called The Mothman Prophecies.